Ford is better than Chevy. Let's face it, no Chevy's ever made it off the lot without breaking down first. Let's face it, there's never even been a Chevy motor anyone can remember. Have you ever even seen a Chevy motor in a drag car? Me neither. They put bow ties on Chevys so that uh, it distracts you from just how crappy the rest of the car is. Ever seen a Chevy crate motor? Me too, the entire car is one rusty fucking crate. There wouldn't be a Camaro without a Mustang either. I didn't buy a Chevy once, but it got recalled before I could even buy it. Ever seen a Chevy drive down the road and you're like, wait a minute, it got recalled long before it was ever on the road. Corvette's the worst car ever built in America. Corvettes are so slow and Mustangs race and we have to go in reverse just so they can keep up. No Corvette's ever been faster than a Mustang. You know why the Corvette plants in Bowling Green? Because they just keep setting them up for Mustangs to knock them down. I wanted a big sedan, so Lord knows I couldn't get a fucking Chevy. Chevy doesn't have a single noteworthy sedan in their entire lineup. Chevy's never even made a car half the size of an average Ford. You know why Chevys have bow ties? It's to distract the mechanics, so every once in a while, one of them might actually pass the safety. Chevys have bow ties so you don't notice that the paint is flaking all over the car. Chevys have bow ties so you don't notice that the entire fucking car is just a great big ball of rust. They only ever started making Chevys because they was already making Fords. Chevys are so small, you can only fit half your inbred cousins in the back. Chevy couldn't make a plus-size sedan if they rode their fat sister and called her Daho. The only reason Chevys have bow ties is so you don't notice that the car doesn't actually start. You know how many Chevy recalls there have been? There's been about as many recalls as there are kinds of Chevy. Got about as many Chevy recalls as there have been Chevy owners that fuck their fat cousin. There have been as many Chevy recalls as there are Chuck Norris jokes. There have been about as many recalls as there have been politicians caught lying. There have been as many Chevy recalls as there are celebrities who've been caught with the nanny. There have been as many Chevy recalls as the number of Viagra pills a Chevy owner has to take so his dick shows up on a microscope. There have been as many Chevy recall jokes as there is fucking wind today. You know why they call it General Motors? Because generally the motors don't work. Because generally, they suck. Because generally, they're not as good as Ford. Because generally, they get recalled. Because generally, they don't turn over. Because generally, the only way the engine's gonna work is if you make the engine sounds yourself. Uh, ever heard the phrase GM certified? Me too. It was my second grade example of an oxymoron. <laughs> but the only thing a Chevy's good for is decorating the lawn at your trailer park. But the only thing a Chevy's good for is a play structure for your kids in the backyard. But the only thing a Chevy's good for is... Fucking dick. But the only thing a Chevy's good for is a house for your dogs. Wait, I meant a house for your inbred wife. The only thing Chevy's good for are giving tow truck drivers an honest living. The only thing a Chevy's good for is for a place to ironically put your small block Ford. First on race day. Faithful, obedient, reliable, dependable.